Hello everyone and welcome to another homebrew update. I'm your host Troy and I am sorry for this video being up kinda later today. I had a few things to do this morning and then I ended up getting called into work and so I couldn't even start getting the script done until I got home from work at 4 o'clock today. Anyway, I'm glad I couldn't actually get the video done until now because a few things actually got released at the time I was at work. I am very excited for those few things as well because they are from the Nintendo Switch and they are very, very big news. But of course, I'm going to wait those till last. Let's go ahead and get started on the 3DS stuff. We only have one thing on the 3DS, guys, and it is called Cute NTR. Now, this Cute NTR isn't really a homebrew, it is more of a program to run homebrew, kinda. If you heard of NTR Viewer, essentially it's the same exact thing, except on a Mac. You are able to run NTR Viewer on a Mac now. You could record your new 3DS video gameplays and upload them to YouTube, what have you. It's very cool. You can stream it wirelessly and all that. So yeah, it's something that I've been actually waiting for a long time, but I still have to get a hold of a new Nintendo 3DS. I still have one of the old school OG old 3DSs. So guys, if you do have a new Nintendo 3DS and if you have a Mac, and if you've been wanting to stream your 3DS over to your device, you can. Over on the PS4 side, the username of Bison has released a PS4 API for the popular PS3 program, believe it or not, called NetSheet. Now, NetSheet was developed originally for the PS3. It's a program that you run on your PC that you then link to your PS3. But yes, this was developed by DNA Workshop, which is actually a very good friend of mine. I've been talking to him ever since the good old PS2 days and my modding stuff on the PS2. Anyway, that aside, Dan, DNA Workshop, actually said that this is the reason why he let people add different APIs to his NetSheet program for the specific reason. He wanted to, I guess, keep Netshi up and current so other people could add stuff to it. And yeah, it's really cool. And I'm glad to see people can actually use Netshi on the PS4 in such a way. For all those pirates over there on the PS4 scene who wish they could play the 5.0 firmware games on their 4.05 firmware, well guys, you are in luck. Granted, not so fast. People have converted ELF files that were only supposed to run on 5.0 firmware down to 4.05. The same exact concept can be done on actual PS4 games, but it has not actually been done yet. So I'm sure it will be happening very soon and then all those people who want to play higher firmware games will be able to. Alright guys, now what you all have probably been waiting for, unless you don't have a Nintendo Switch, let's talk about some Nintendo Switch homebrew. The very first one I'm going to be talking about is going to be small. I put that in quotation marks because honestly all these things, the next three things I'll be talking about, are going to be pretty darn big. So let's get started. A user put together a concept of the re-switch team's cold boot exploit. He actually showed it up on his YouTube channel, it's a six second video which I honestly didn't really see too much special about that video but I also am blind and getting worse but you know maybe some of y'all will see some significant thing in that video I don't know next up let's go a step bigger for all those people on the newest firmware which I think is still 4.1.0 if I'm remembering correctly you now have trust zone hacks Yes, the ReSwitch team has been able to get Trust Zone hacks on the newest firmware of the Switch. This is amazing news. Now, this doesn't mean if you are in 3.0 to update to 4.1, because remember, the people on lower firmware will be the first ones to get everything. So starting from 1.0, they'll get literally everything first, then 2.3, I think it is, and 3.0, then 4.0, and what have you. So don't go updating just to play that Mario Odyssey. I don't know how many times I've said that in my videos, but don't go updating playing Mario Odyssey. And last but not least, we have the best news of them all. A user on the GBA temp forums actually noticed a small little tweet that Michael or Series M from the ReSwitch team posted. That tweet said that he was going to start implementing some custom firmwares and such on the Nintendo Switch. So yes. 
there is going to be a Nintendo Switch custom firmware, not even into a year of the Switch's life cycle. That is amazing news, or if you want to take it on the hand, that is horrible news because that just means piracy will go rampant. Who knows? I don't know. Who knows? The custom firmware will be called Atmosphere-NX. I really have a feeling he's just gonna stop it with Atmosphere, because to me that's just a great name. And that apparently goes off of some of the Switch or something like that. Something along with the Switch actual hardware is called Horizon. And so I'm guessing they're naming the custom firmware Atmosphere because it's higher than the Horizon, I guess. Anyway, that's just kind of a cool little thing. I love when people put kind of play on words and things like that with their coding things and whatnot. Now, we do not know what is going to be happening with the actual custom firmware. We don't know if we'll be able to be playing backup games or if it'll just be for homebrew. We don't know yet, but in the future when everything actually gets decided, I'm sure they'll release it. Speaking of releasing, actually, they do not have a release date, but on their GitHub page, they will be updating that with the code. It's going to be a full open source custom firmware. Anyone who wants to be able to use it can use it and also modify it. Granted, I think you still need an actual exploit to run it and they probably will not release the exploit until the actual custom firmware is ready to go and all released and bug free. So guys, just tell me, what do you think about the Nintendo Switch custom firmware atmosphere? I have a feeling some people are going to hate it, some people are going to love it, I myself am going to love it, I just love seeing what type of stuff people can do on the Nintendo Switch. And with that guys, that is it with this video, I really really hope you guys enjoyed it, and again, sorry for it being a little bit later than what I expected. If you did like this video, please hit that thumbs up button as well as that subscribe button, and hit that little bell icon so you don't miss any of my new videos. With that, guys, I will see you all next video.